These are very extreme terms here. These are absolute terms. Nitya, Ananya. <laughs> this is 922 of Gita. Krishna is telling Arjuna. He's using words like Ananya. And he's saying Nitya. <laughs> Nitya Yukta. Nitya Yukta. Ananya Chinta. This is not an easy thing to do. <laughs> even yogis, yogis have, even yogis in the Yoga Sutras of Patanjali, they say to watch out for vikshape. And they talk about ekagrata. Uh, chittas virodha, chitta virodha ekagrata. You have, to, you have to control the chitta, you have to control the opposite thoughts and balance the mind and fix it on one point, ekagrata. This is instructions to the yogis. I have no job and no family. I live in a cave. So yoga, potentially yoga sutras. So even there, it's talked about watch out for big shape, the distraction. Big shape means distraction on your yoga meditation. There's supposed to be ananya dhyan, ananya brahma dhyan, or whatever, ananya paramatma dhyan, totally fixed on paramatma. So Krishna is saying ananya me, chinta mam, chinta mam. Think of me, Krishna. Here I am. Two-armed form of Krishna standing in front of you on the chariot. Vrindavan Krishna, Gurukshetra Krishna. With undeviated attention, worship me. Hey, worship Krishna with your mind. If you're thinking of Krishna, that's what Krishna says. Chintamam. So if you're working and thinking of Krishna, you're driving your car and thinking of Krishna, you're cleaning your house and thinking of Krishna. Thinking of Krishna means chanting or just thinking of Krishna or praying, internally praying to Krishna. That means you're always connected with Krishna. It's quite conceivable a grihasta or a fully engaged person busily working 10 hours a day and commuting 2 hours a day and sleeping 8 hours a day. He may be much more Krishna conscious than a yogi or a great, great sadhu because his mind, he's always, his, he says, chintama, mind always with me. He doesn't say, always chanting japa, always doing kirtan, uh, nitya, nitya shastra sadhyaya, doesn't say always reading Shastra. He says, Ananya, don't don't let your consciousness, don't let your mind go away from me. Say, oh, this is nice. This Maya is nice. Or that Maya is nice. Oh, that car looks nice. Then you bro- then you're broke. You're out. You're, you're a big shape. So you do your work, but for Krishna, and when you're doing your work, you think of Krishna and try to see Krishna in your work. And this way. You can be more and more realized in what this verse means. Ananyas chintyanto mam ye jana paripasate teisham nityabhyuktanam yoga kshema maham yaham. There's some commentary here. The word nitya abhyuktanam, nitya abhyuktanam, means. Unbroken devotion, unalloyed, pure bhakti, shud bhakti, means to be always connected with Krishna and yoga. They are the mahatmas mentioned earlier. Verse 13, chapter, same chapter, verse 13, now we're talking 22. Mahatmanas timam parta daivim prakritamashrita. That's what I thought, yeah, this is a famous verse. So those mahatmas, nityukt. Nitya Bhyuktanam refers to the 922, Krishna is saying Tesham, Nitya Bhyuktanam. This refers to 913. Mahatmanastamam Parta Devim Prakritim Ashrita Ajantyananya Manaso Gyatva Bhutadim Avyayam. Oh Parta Arjun, those Mahatmas, great souls who take shelter of me. Mama Shraya, in the divine nature, Daivi Prakriti, worship me with undeviated minds, Ananya Manaso, knowing me to be the origin of all beings and imperishable. Avyayam, imperishable, Bhuta Adi, Bhuta, living entities, Adi, beginning first, not first, not beginning, but original, the source, let's say the source of all the living entities, gyatwa, they know this. Bhajan, they do ananya bhajan, the mind's fixed on me, taking shelter of me. So now those same atmas are referred to later, that 
because they're they are nanya manaso, and here is a nanya chinta. And then, and if you so here, Krishna is saying, there is in 19, nine, chapter nine, verse thirteen. It's just defining what do the mahatmas do? They take shelter of transcendental energy, and they worship Krishna with a fixed mind, nanya manaso. Now Krishna is telling how he reciprocates with them. Because he said earlier in chapter 4, verse 11, as you surrender, I reward you accordingly. So here he's saying the Mahatmas, 9.13, this is the definition of Mahatma. He's not a politician. <laughs> it could be, but it means he's totally fixed, his mind is totally fixed on me, not country consciousness, but Krishna consciousness. And he's fully taking shelter of the internal energy. So now that person, now how does Krishna reciprocate and respond to him? He carries what they lack and preserves what they have. So 9.22 is a sequel. It's a follow-up to 9.13. Those who are ever united with Krishna, nitya abhiyuktana means eternally, eternally connected with Krishna. Nitya abhiyuktana. And yoga are Mahatmas. The word Ananya means they, are, they have interest in nothing else but devotion. So if you're working, if you're doing devotion, but I also like cricket and I like to travel and, and I have so many likes and so many wants and needs, that is not Ananya Chinta. It's just like I'm working because I need to live. I need, have to work to live. And, I, and other than working, I'm working, that's my devotion, that's also bhakti, working, sleeping is bhakti, house maintenance, clothes, body maintenance, it's all bhakti. There's nothing else in my agenda, I don't want anything else. I, 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 I'm a family person, so I have children. And why do I have children? Okay, I, I need to have children, because I'm a family person, but I want to offer devotees to Krishna. So I'll try my best to uh, offer these devotees, jivas to Krishna. So it's all... And so that's, because there are many different, there's Prakriti Vaishnava, there's Shud Vaishnava, there's uh, Karma Mishra Vaishnava, so many types of mixture and devotion. So this is the very highest definition of bhakti, there's nothing but Krishna. Work and Krishna, play and Krishna. What is my play? My play is Kirtan. My play is Prikama. But we, we have seen practically in the lives of Lord Chaitanya and Krishna himself that swimming and Water splashing, or Chaitanya is swimming, splashing water, maybe wrestling, but he was a Brahmin pundit, so this type of wrestling he did when he was Krishna. Krishna water splashed, and Krishna swam in the Yamuna and swam in, and Pavan Srovar with all the coward boys, and he wrestled. And then when Krishna came as Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, he did all those same things. But I don't know about wrestling because he might pundit from the very earliest ages, he was busy writing and Akshar and Ah Ka Ba Ba Na. He's a pundit, Nimai Pandit. Well, Krishna doesn't know reading or writing anything. <laughs> Krishna is only play. He just play. So he's, he was wrestling from the time he was in Gokul. Krishna's in Gokul, he was in his diapers. And he was wrestling Balaram. Balaram, and they were the first wrestlers. You know, Balaram and Krishna rolling all around in the cradle. 